Discord. Hi and welcome everybody. You're here with Beyond Skin Clinic with Jenny and Fiona. Um, and we're here today to talk a little bit about acne, which is something that most people unfortunately will be familiar with. It's something that affects most people at one stage or another in their life and something we see a lot of in our clinic. Um, Fiona, I know it's something you'll be familiar with treating a lot. Yes, yes. So yes, I'm one of the aesthetic therapists of Fiona Skin and yes, we see acne almost every day in clinics. So we have lots of experience, yeah. So we're just going to um, let you all have a bit more of an insight really into acne and what causes acne and just a bit more information today. Great, let's kick off. Yeah, so um, what is acne? So acne is a skin condition that's characterized by blockages of oil and dead skin cells in the pores. So a lot of these blockages can be spots, blackheads or whiteheads. Um, or all three. So it is an inflammatory condition which can affect all ages and believe it or not, it's not just in puberty, it can affect um, about over 40% of adults as well. So you can see this picture of this girl and this would be um, a typical acne client really that we would see but um, acne is just not all about the spots, it can be just blackheads or it can be just whiteheads as well. So um, we all know what spots look like, but we're just going to go a wee bit more in depth here. So um, an open comedone um, is the term for blackheads, and this is caused by clogging of the pores, oil and dead skin. Then a closed comedone, so that has like a, a little bit of skin over the top, is milia. And the bigger ones of these are called macro comedones, and they're found under the skin, and they're the complete blockage of the pore. And then we've got papules, which are the sore kind of red lumps. Um, so they're inflamed. And then a pustule would be inflamed as well, but it's filled with um, pus. And then the nodule is a large hard lump that builds up under the skin. But I, sometimes a nodule actually isn't as inflamed. Um, it can be, but most times it's not. And then there's the cyst, which is a large pus filled lump that can be uh, deep in the skin. I suppose it's useful to note that something can start out quite low grade and then can, if it's not true, yeah. can develop into something more serious, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, we all know a blackhead can turn into a spot. Most definitely macrocomedones normally turn into like a pustule then as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's good to kind of get them treated as soon as possible, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah, so we'll talk there. So there's different grades of acne. So the mildest form would be the blackheads and the whiteheads, um, and just like a few papules or pustules. Then we go up to grade two, which is the more moderate, um, and this would probably be the most common. Um, so it's multiple papules and pustules, mostly on the face, very common in teenagers, I suppose. And then the mod moderately severe and nodulocystic uh, is multiple papules and pustules and may also have nodules um, and could be present on all areas of the body so we do see a lot of clients who maybe their back is um is inflamed with acne as well or even the chest area too can be common too shoulders um, arms we've i mean we've seen a lot of that i suppose that whole yeah. sort of upper body type area can be affected yeah, and we can treat those areas as well, not just the face. Mm -hmm. And then there's the more severe nodule cystic uh, acne, which is really inflamed nodules and cysts uh, as well. And I suppose that's quite common on the body too, that one, yeah. And so, I think once it gets to that level, that sort of really severe acne, it really can be affecting someone's sense oh, of definitely. well-being and mental health. Yeah. And really, it can make people quite depressed. And it really and it really can, yeah. That's a shame. Um, so what, what causes acne? What, how can we get rid of it? Or what are the reasons why people would have acne? So mainly it's excess oil within the skin. Um, and then the oil clogs the pores. And then they're clogged with dead skin as well. Um, and then the bacteria known as P. acnes um, will then cause the inflammation and the spots on the face. 
Um, and this can be spread then as well. So we need to be careful with hygiene and touching our face too much as well, because it, it, it does spread um, quite easily. And then the excess hormone production as well. So the and androgens, um, yeah. I suppose there's those two different there's two there's two different things really then you've got the the bacterial on the skin mm -hmm. dirt debris uh, but then you've yeah. got the internal hormonal so you've got two things fighting against each other both causing a tsunami of spots yeah lots of different there's lots of different causes as well exactly yeah yeah So yeah, so there's things that can actually make your acne worse. So certain foods can trigger. A lot of people would say that, you know, if they eat too much chocolate, you know, they're going to get spots, things like that. Um, it's not always true, but it can, it can trigger them. So in, this includes dairy and sugar. Um, I did learn recently on our acne uh, accreditation course that actually semi-skimmed milk um, I know we all think this is better for our health when we drink semi-skim milk, but it does contain whey and it can uh, trigger acne as well. Mm -hmm. So people who are maybe prone to acne might be better actually going for full fat because it doesn't have the whey in it. Um, obviously stress as well. Normally around the jawline as well with stress, we find. Um, stress causes too many things. I mean... Goodness me, acne is just the tip of the iceberg with stress, really. <laughs> uh, hormone changes. So, yeah, definitely people who are more hormonal, obviously in puberty and then a lot of like pregnancy as well. You know, people can break out then too. Um, yeah. Um, and then skincare and makeup products obviously can clog the pores too. If you're not using the right skincare uh, routine, then, you know, it can be detrimental as well to your skin. Mm -hmm. And I suppose not cleaning off the makeup not as well, you're allowing that bacteria to sit on the skin. Yeah. Okay, so what can we do about it? Yeah, so we need to cleanse every day, twice a day, morning and night, um, three times if you need to as well. Um, maybe if you've been to the gym or something, you, you know, you always need to kind of use your cleanser afterwards as well. Um, avoid the abrasive scrubs, so the ones that are going to be really... Uh, kind of rough on your skin they're going to cause inflammation this isn't great for your acne it's just going to like um be detrimental as well so try not to pick at your skin so i've said that earlier so the pea acne can be it can be the bacteria can be spread around the face so if we're picking at our skin as well it's just going to be spreading things around and um, you may need to visit a, a doctor if you're if your acne is quite severe, where it is um, more nodule and cysts as well, um, and really inflamed, then you probably might need to go on an antibiotic. So you need to go and see your doctor, your GP. Um, improve your diet. Yes, yeah, so we've talked about the diet as well, how it can affect um, the acne. And then we do have supplements at Beyond Skin. So they're the Advanced Nutrition Program and the Skin Acumax is one that's fantastic and has amazing results for acne patients. Mm -hmm. I um, think the Skin Acumax seems to be just a cult favorite with people for both the yeah. bacterial and specifically for the hormonal acne as well, because yeah. it's not a hormonal product, but it has the effect of balancing it out. So I think for some people who are considering the the the, um, the racutans or the steroids or the antibiotics, the Acumax is a nice thing to try first without having to go down that like, harsh route. You yeah, know? I'd say so definitely. Give it a go first because the results for most people have been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So ensure you're using the correct products. This is so important. Um, so some of the counter products include a lot of alcohol that's going to dry your skin out. Um, ensure you wear your SPF. It's so important, especially, you know, when you do have acne as well, your pores are going to be opened by um, the UV rays as well, which is going to make you more prone to, to spots and, and everything else. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, and also the UV damage can trigger the inflammation and make the acne worse. Yeah. That thing about the products and the drying it out, I, I think some people often think, you know, if their skin is oily, um, they're going to need to dry it out with a lot of alcohol. But sometimes what can happen then is you dry it out so much that your skin mm -hmm. overproduces oil to compensate. Yeah. So yeah. we always recommend those water-based hydrators. Stay away, yes, stay away from adding extra oil, but you still need to hydrate your yeah. skin. 
I don't think people I'm make that. Really that. Something really light, those serums, like your hyaluronic acid serums, now everything are going to be really good then just to hydrate the skin from within. Um, yeah, so that's really important to keep it hydrated too and keep it healthy. Yeah. So there are yeah. things that we can do in clinic um, in terms of treatments, but I think one of the things that's really important for people to understand is that acne is something that, yes, it can be treated and go away, but it can come back. And so getting into really good routines, getting into doing things yourself at home, that's the consistency that's really going to keep the acne at bay. Um, mm -hmm. Even when we're doing treatments, we're always saying at the same time as what we're doing for you in clinic, you have to be maintaining the results at home yourself. That's that we can't wash your face for you every day, every night. So, <laughs> um, so it's different. You know, some products work for some people and then they're maybe not as good for other people. So it is a case of trying things out and seeing what works for you and what's best for you as well. And always try and stick to, to your regime too, because we get so many times where clients have like, you know, they've got to stage where their skin is really good and really healthy and then they stop using the right products and then they're, they're back in in a matter of months and maybe they've got a breakout again and they need to you know go back on to their their skincare again so it's important to keep it up too i mean there's never going to be a one size fits all for skincare because everybody is so different and everyone's concerns are so different everyone's got different stressors different triggers I mean, in saying that, there are things that we know, there are the causes of acne that we know about the bacteria, we know about the hormones, so there are things that we can advise, but I suppose it is important to just, um, to have a personal routine that works for your own skin type. Yeah, um, yeah Some of the different products that we've got are some of the things that can work. Um, well, Epionce, you know I love Fiona. <laughs> yeah, I use Epionce every day, actually, love it. Um, it's really good because some of the like the lotions, the lytic have the salicylic acid in it, which is going to reduce all your inflammation. It's really good to help repair your skin barrier. So if you do have the redness in the skin, it's going to help improve your moisture barrier there as well. And then it's going to reduce your bacteria. Yeah, it's a really good program to get on um, every, for everybody. Yeah. I think Epions are a great brand because their philosophy is <laughs> different to some of their other brands as well. Like they're all about getting the skin really healthy, repair yeah. the barrier. So getting it stronger so that it's able to tackle, you know, if something does compromise the skin, it can kind of deal with it better. Um, yeah. Yeah, fantastic range. I mean, really great for lots of different skin conditions, but especially for that really red inflamed acne, Epionce is a great brand, really great brand. Really good to prepare the skin as well if you are coming into clinic for, for treatments too. So kind of a pre-treatment one to prepare the skin. Mm -hmm. yeah for pains or whatever as well so yeah dermaquest have their dermaclear range um this is a brilliant range as well um so they have their cleanser which is a bha cleanser and it has two percent salicylic acid in it um and you would use this morning and night they have the serum um which has salicylic and glycolic acid in it and the niacinamide, which is a brilliant ingredient to calm and repair as well. Um, this one maybe, I mean, you can use it twice a day. I know my daughter, she uses it just, just once, a, once a day in the evening, actually. Mm -hmm. um, the mask, it has a little bit of salicylic in it as well. Really good just to clean out those pores. And then the pads are brilliant. You can use these on the body as well. Mm. So anybody who gets breakouts on the body, these are brilliant for for your chest and your back or wherever, and also brilliant for um, ingrown hairs. The mask, I think, is good. Like I have one that sits in my bathroom. It doesn't get used very often, but when I need it, it's there. It lasts me a lot because it's like a clay mask. You don't have to do your whole face. So when I'm getting my breakouts, no. usually in this area, you sort of spot treating and you leave it on ten spot. minutes. Definitely. So it's great. Good for um, blackheads on the nose as well. Brilliant for those. Um, just even do, just do your T zone if you need to. Yeah, it can be a wee bit tingly on the skin, um, yeah, because it's that mask. Oh. But the pads are great. I think we tend to see a lot of our male clients opt for the pads. Yeah. Um, and yeah. it's really easy to wipe over, especially after the gym or something like that. But as well, because you can use it on your shoulders and sort of body, as you said. Um, for spot treatment. Well, you don't have to use it all over your face. You can just use it maybe on your T-zone or where you need it as well with the pads. And you can cut them in half. Mm -hmm. Get more out of it. Yeah. Up, up the use if you need them. Yeah. The key there, though, in all those um, products is the salicylic acid. That's really the ingredient that you're looking for. 
with any kind of clogged pores that's the only thing that's really going to degrease your skin um, yeah salicylic acid is going to travel deep into the pore it's going to reduce your inflammation it's going to really clean the pore out as well mm -hmm. yeah fantastic yeah. Uh, oh we, we love it will go again with well, more salicylic really um the cleansy derm amazing i love this cleanser and i don't you know i don't really get any spots but i do have whiteheads i've always had whiteheads but this is amazing feels feels amazing on the skin it leaves your skin feeling so fresh and so clean but not irritated so um it's going to really help with your breakouts i advise so many people to buy this product so it has menthol in it as well and it's going to calm down any of the irritation Mm -hmm. Core therapy is that little bit stronger. So for the clients who do have um, kind of more breakouts, more uh, postures and papules over the face, again, this can be used as a spot treatment. So you just use a little bit of it on uh, a cotton wool pad and you can just pat it onto the skin uh, where you need it or you can use it all over the face if you feel you need it all over as well. So it's going to really help to minimize the oil production in your skin. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we have the benzoyl peroxide. So this is the therapeutic lotion. Um, so this is really quite strong again. Um, you need to be careful when you're using this. You don't get it on any of your clothes or um, towels or anything because it can actually change the color of them. Um, but this is going to really help clear the acne and then prevent any f future uh, breakouts. But this would be, be for people who are kind of grade three kind of acne, yeah. Yeah, it's and then retinol as well. Mm. I mean, retinol is great for every skin type, but I guess certainly yeah. for, the, for the acne clients who are needing to speed up that cell turnover, I suppose it's worth mentioning with these with this sort of level of of products and this sort of, they are getting to this, the the medical grade, um, and yeah. clients really need to be cautious. Um, and we would really encourage people to check in with us and review the routines to make sure they're using them in the correct way overusing these type of products can lead mm -hmm. to more problems than, than mm -hmm. they'll solve. So um, definitely uh, use in conjunction with an expert. Yeah, because they, they are really prescriptive products, so they need to be used correctly. I yes. was just going to say retinol there as well. Amazing for anybody who has, has um, scarring caused mm -hmm. by acne. It'd be perfect for anybody who has scarring left behind. Mm -hmm. um, so SkinCeuticals amazing brand so um i'm going to start off with the cleanser actually so the blemish and age cleanser so it's um going it has a little bit of salicylic in it as well just going to help reduce the sebum production in the skin it's going to exfoliate the skin and just like brighten it all up then you've got the retexturizing activator amazing for anybody who has whiteheads so it's going to really help minimize the whiteheads um and as well, it's anti-aging too. So anybody who has the fine lines, wrinkles, it's going to help with that. It's just going to help the re kind of retexturize, resurface the, the whole skin. Um, I think it's equivalent to a peel, that one, if you use it every day for like two, two, two yeah. to four weeks. And it's equivalent to having a peel, something like that. Um, then there's the Blemage and Age Defense. I love this. Absolutely love this. Um, so it has salicylic and glycolic. It does, whenever you do apply it to the skin, you, you can't feel it, it will tingle, that's completely normal. But it really helps just reduce the oil production as well and the congestion in the skin. Mm -hmm. um, and then your phytocorrective is really amazing, just a calming any redness in the skin, calming down all your inflammation and soothing. It, it actually, whenever you apply the phytocorrective, it feels um, cool, as soon as you're, it kind of cools your skin right away it has cucumber in it as well yeah i love i the skinceuticals range speaks to me i think simply because of the name blemish and age so we find yeah. that with our slightly older clients who are getting that adult acne that second wave or whatever this is a great range for them because you're mm -hmm. kind of treating those fine lines and those pimples at the same time and with just with one product so it's it's a good way to the do it serum is i mean i use it um because of the anti-aging effect really on the skin and then my daughter uses it as well but she loves it just to prevent uh, breakouts yeah, yeah. yeah. that's so. great ah uh, acumax we've talked about already i mean uh, cult favorite with 
skincare professionals, with bloggers, with customers. Everybody loves this supplement. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I mean, I think clients that that use it and it works for them, they just they stay on it. Um, they well, do. If they come off it, they notice the difference. Then, whenever they come off it, as in they need to use it, you know, they need to keep using it really. Mm-hmm. And that active ingredient derived from broccoli. So, I mean, I don't know if just eating a ton of broccoli is going to do the same thing. I don't think it will, but which is yes. an interesting factoid. <laughs> um, so, I think what we've seen there is there's a lot of different ways to treat a lot of different types of acne. Um, and it, it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's information coming from lots of different angles. But really, the way to navigate it is to come and talk to us. Um, yeah. So that we can advise, you know, we work with a lot of different brands in the clinic, as you can see, and a lot of different products, and they all contain similar ingredients, but they're all tailored for slightly different skin types and for slightly yeah. different um, treatment paths. So we can help navigate that and help put together the routine that will work best for, for a client's particular circumstances. Yeah, exactly. A consultation is a must because we, you need, we kind of need to get to know a client and their likes and dislikes and just a little bit more about each person to, to be able to tailor kind of what products are going to be best for them as well. Yeah, absolutely. So we are available to answer any and all questions and um, we love the chat. We're missing our clients. So we're happy to see their faces um, and happy to give advice where we can. Just send us a message, ask a question or go ahead and book an online consultation. Yeah, we love to, lovely to see everybody. <laughs> Um, thanks so much for joining us and uh, hope to see you again soon. Yes, bye everyone.